हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑफ बेस्ट ऑन आईपीएम दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम आईपीएम 2019 क्यू एमसीक्यू सेक्शन नाउ मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट वुड प्रोबेबली नॉट सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन लुकिंग एट द ऑप्शंस यू नो द वे इट इज डिजाइंड the you know the numbers are not great 5 minus root 7 and 5 plus root 7 and you know sometimes it says that monotonically increasing monotonically decreasing and you know all those various stuffs hello everyone if you like our content and want to experience the ims pedagogy then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free to avail this please click on the link mentioned under the description box below happy learning this particular question you could have solved by not using your pen i'll show you an alternate approach i'll show you the uh, the mathematical approach how can you solve this question theoretically but logically this particular question you could have simply marked the option looking at the option given to us So if I look at the function, it's a cubic equation, and, and we know that the cubic equation would either be like this, or it would be like this. Correct. So either it will, you know, tend to negative infinity here, or it will go on to positive infinity here. Here it will go to positive infinity. Here it will go to negative infinity. Correct. So I can straight away rule out. my first and second option because it says that it is positive and monotonically increasing for the range right for you know for all the values of x from minus infinity to that irrational number and then from another irrational number to positive infinity it is always positive and the next option see it is always negative right so that cannot be the case and hence we can straight away rule out the first and the second option right also if i now look at the third and the fourth option you know the only difference with the third and the fourth option here it says negative and monotonically increasing here it says it is positive and monotonically increasing here it says positive and monotonically increasing and negative and monotonically increasing so i have to only check for negative monotonically increasing or positive monotonically increasing if one of them is correct i can mark that as the correct answer right so now let's look at if i substitute negative infinity if i substitute x as minus infinity in this particular equation i can clearly see that minus infinity raised to 3 like a very big negative number raised to 3 will always give me minus i mean very big negative number minus 5x square and minus 8x will not be that significantly large right so my answer will be negative if you look at this as minus infinity here okay if you look at this as minus infinity my number will be negative and it won't be positive as mentioned here and hence i can eliminate this option and get my answer option as 3 so this is how we could have solved this particular question without writing any equation without solving any equation now let us see how we could have actually got this range of x from minus infinity uh, to 5 minus root 57 by 2 and 5 plus root 57 by 2 to infinity let's see how can we exactly get this so this was the function given to us now what i can do is i can take x common from the uh, numerator okay so it will be x into x square Minus five x, minus eight whole upon three. Right. Now basically, uh, to find the roots, okay, of this expression, I'll have to equate this to zero. So the one of the roots I can see here is x is equal to zero. And to find the another root, I'll have to say that x square minus five x minus eight has to be equal to. 0 now i have to use 
the formula to find out what are the exit routes because you know we cannot solve this by splitting the middle term. So using the formula it gives me x is equal to minus of minus 5 that will become plus 5 plus or minus b square so minus 5 square is 25 b square minus 4ac and c is minus 8 so this will become plus 32 upon 2. So the roots that I have is 5 plus or minus root 57 by 2. So I have 3 roots with me x is equal to 0 right I have x is equal to 0. Uh, then I have 5 plus root 57 by 2, that's a positive value. And 5 minus root 57, minus root 57 will be higher in magnitude as compared to 5, so it turns out to be negative. So it will be 5 minus root 57 by 2. And now I know that using the rules of inequality, you know, on the extreme right hand side for this particular equation, it will be positive, this will be negative, this will be positive and this will be negative. So, the graph would somewhat look like this, correct? So, you can see that it is monotonically decreasing, it is negative and monotonically, uh, sorry, it monotonically increasing here for the negative values of x from minus infinity to 5 minus root 57 by 2, it is negative and it is monotonically increasing. However, on this side, it is positive and monotonically increasing. So that's how we could have solved this question by step by step. Now, I would want each one of you to solve this particular replica question and answer your correct answer in the comment section and we will revert back to you within 24 hours.